What's up, Virgo? What's going on tonight? So, um, I uploaded two videos. Hopefully, they will upload soon. Um, it's been a busy day, you know, with this whole co uh, coronavirus thing. Um, now I'm kind of like out of work for two weeks on administrative leave. So, um, because of this coronavirus, yeah, it's been one of those days. A few people who I work with, um, they were tested for this virus and it came back tested positive. So, of course, it was mandatory for them to shut down my job, my workplace, and um, put us on administrative leave for a couple of weeks until this thing blows over. So, I'm pretty much at home, you know, just uh, cleaning up, getting everything, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of keeping myself... Uh, you know, stable and all that without losing it. But anyway, where I go? I decided to like just come in, check in, because thinking about these two connections, right? There's one connection from the past who is um pretty much struggling to leave us alone this past person you know they they're going through their own their own things right but this past person is like they don't want no conflict you know what i'm saying they just want to move forward peacefully they're not looking for no conflict because they're kind of tired of all the toxicity you know so this past person is like they're really not in the mood for the drama you feel me um However, they do feel some type of strong connection when it comes to you and them, where um, a part of them do feel some type of void is missing, where your past person feels like when it comes to them wanting to um, receive some sort of affection because they kind of see themselves as being vulnerable right now. And they don't want to just keep going out there getting to the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, um... They're kind of wanting to see peace, but some type of foundation where they could be happy. But, um, for some reason, a part of them don't really, um, they're not for sure. But things really stand between you and them. But then you got this new person. This new person who was somewhat trying to figure you out, somewhat obsessive. This new person who can even be a bit draining um because a new person wants to be with you so they see you as a challenge right but now let's say for example you were to give in to this new person and you were to be intimate with this new person what would the outcome be you know would they like, really physically satisfy you if you be with the new person. And I don't really see no, um, no passion being there between you and the new person. You know what I'm saying? I don't see no passion being there. I see it would be more of a, um, a lustful desire, somewhat of a fantasy. You know? And I don't think you would enjoy it with the new person. Which is kind of like a hang up. You know what I'm saying? Which is why some of you have been celibate. Because you're waiting to be, you know, with the right person at the right time. Without feeling pressured, you know. And sometimes being celibate is not always the easiest thing to do. You know, I know I've been celibate now for almost two years. And I've tried dating. And it hasn't been easy because the people who I tried dating was it you know it wasn't the right the right person you know what i'm saying it, it didn't give me that uh that complete balance that wholeness that i needed and um that's where the past person comes into play because you and the past person you had chemistry you had passion you know you had mutual feelings right between you and the past person but then the past person was the one that did you, you know, the past person did you shitty. 
past person went out there and did all kind of bullshit. Right? <laughs> but now the past person is tired of all their own bullshit. So now they're like, they're missing that time that you and them shared, even though they went out and did all their dirt. So it was like a catch-22. Because it's almost like us Virgos who are celibate, we're kind of holding ourselves back, wanting to fulfill that void with the right person later on. So therefore, we are trying to apply ourselves with staying busy, you know, trying to apply ourselves with, uh, you know, work. And, um, and right now, it's like every time we try to go forward, <laughs> something changes, right? That causes us to have to take another route. Where now everybody is pretty much um, stuck indoors, having to figure out a new way of working from home. You know, going online, seeking uh, business opportunities, working from home. Especially those of us who um, have family and you're raising children and that sort of thing. You guys like my crystal? Yeah, right. But, um, Virgo, this new person, this new person, um, not really on your level. This new person might be nice and kind and sweet and stuff and generous, but they're not on your level. It's not what you're looking for. It's not what you really want. You appreciate the kindness, you know, and them being generous and giving because you want that. But um, something is missing between you and a new person. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't really quite dead, you know. And so um, you can't get yourself to be with them, but the new person don't understand because the new person is just attracted to you. And um, their fetish is to be with you. They fantasize about that. I don't know. And then the past person kind of fantasizes about you too sexually. So you got like a couple of people, two or three people, who have been trying to, uh, like fantasizing about you sexually. Meanwhile, as workers, we focus on like business and trying to establish ourselves, climbing the ladder of success. While everybody else is looking at us like a damn a bowl of cherries and cool whip and shit we sitting out here trying to stay you know grounded grinding constantly you know our mind is on you know like our mind is like trying to be focused business wise but people keep looking at us like we a piece of damn chocolate you know it could be a good thing bad thing I don't know but anyway, Virgo, I'm just like, you know, checking in, one to kind of give you a heads up. Because, um, mm -hmm. past person has, like, baggage attached to them, you know. I think they're trying to, like, clean some of that shit up. <laughs> a new person is, like, may not really be on your same level business-wise. You know? So it's a lot for us to think about, but we're going with the flow. We're not really trying to put too much on our plate right now. We're just trying to chill, you know, relax, unwind a bit. Right, Virgo? Anyway, I'm just checking in. And um, some of us, you may be dealing with um, Taurus and the Libra. We may have a couple of um, Tauruses on the horizon. You may have a Scorpio that thinks about you from time to time and a Capricorn. So, um, I see Capricorn, I see, uh, Scorpio, I see Taurus, and I see Libra is what I see. And you may have a Gemini that miss you. Um... Basically, Virgo, just keep moving forward. <laughs> keep pushing forward. You know? Because, um, even if you give in to the new person, I don't think you're even going to enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest. 
and um I don't really see you like giving into the past person either because um you're looking at the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? Because the past person, they had a lot of bullshit with them, you know. We're hip to all they bullshit, so it's like we really don't give a fuck no more, you know. It's like what, you know? So we're not really into it like that no more. Mm hmm. So just keep keep your eyes focused on the bigger prize. You know what I'm saying? Because um, something good has got to come up out of all this. Because we've been actually doing the right thing. So something good has definitely got to come out of all this. But anyway, I just wanted to check in Virgos. And hopefully these two videos that I already did for you guys, they're getting ready to upload. Okay. All right. God bless.